Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and this week I am traveling. So I am currently out of the state for the entire week. This video is currently going up, and I thought it would be a lot of fun as I'm currently packing. I've got like two suitcases behind me. I did a pretty good job of hiding them, did I not? But I'm currently packing, and I really wanted to do an updated what's in my travel makeup bag video because I was looking through my channel and I think the most recent one that I did is almost exactly a year ago. It's from February 2018. So I'll throw that one up in the cards if you want to see one of my older makeup bags for traveling. But this is going to be a week long trip and uh, let's be honest, I probably overpacked. But <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm packing for my week long trip. It's going to be like half vacation, half work. So it's going to have a little bit of everything. So let's jump right in. First, I'm still using the same bag that I used in my previous video. I love this bag. This is from Victoria's Secret and I bought it. I want to say a year and a half, almost two years ago. It was on clearance. I think they were discontinuing this bag, but it's gorgeous. It's huge. So it's got some nice handles here and then it zips and then it opens up and has two sides. So you've got a top portion and a bottom portion. This is built into the bag. So I tend to keep all of my powders down here. And then this top portion actually comes out of the bag so i like to keep all of like my liquid makeup items in here all of the powders in the part that is connected to the bag and then back here i just keep like some extra makeup wipes because there is an extra zipper back here attached to the bag i keep like a, a little mini color switch some cotton rounds and a couple of makeup wipes so i've used this makeup bag every time that i've traveled over the past couple of years because i love it if it's a shorter trip, I can fit like all of my toiletries in here. So if it's like two, two, three days, I can fit all of my skincare, all of my makeup, you know, anything toiletry related into this bag. Since this is a longer trip, this is just makeup and I'm going to have a separate bag for like my skincare and my toiletry. So everything in this bag is makeup. Also, if it's a shorter trip, I do try to also put my brushes in here. But since this is a longer trip and I'm taking a bigger suitcase, I do have all of my makeup brushes in this really hard Morphe case just because it's really convenient to throw all your brushes in here for a longer trip. And it's also really nice to keep in the hotel room just like that. So I have all my brushes right there. So let's first go through this top portion of all of the more liquidy kind of products with the exception of one. Okay, so first of all, I do like to take any travel size perfume samples that I have with me traveling. I get really anxious about bringing body sprays or perfumes, like full size ones, in checked baggage because this is going to go into my checked bag. I have a separate carry on bag, but I do have to bring my personal laptop and my work laptop so I, I don't have the room to bring this. And also, with like the liquid regulations and everything, it's just easier to keep it in checked baggage. So I like to bring a couple of like these little mini samples with me because I have a ton of perfume samples. So the ones I'm bringing with me are from, oh my God, I can't even pronounce this. I have no idea what that is. Derek Lamb Io Crosby Ellipsis is this one. And then this one is from Bulgari and it's Amina. So little random, nice perfume things. I'll probably grab one more sample to bring with me since it is a longer trip and I'm going to a hotter climate, but that's just something I like to throw into my travel bag and just keep there so I can use them when I'm traveling. I'm bringing a couple of primers. The first primer that I'm bringing is from Cover FX and this is a mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. Like I said, I am going to a hotter climate. I'm going to Florida, so it is currently 75 degrees down there while up here in the Northeast, it's like two. <laughs> degrees so I need to make sure I'm not going to sweat through like everything I'm bringing one mattifying primer in case I do need to use that I'm also bringing my elf poreless putty primer which I've hit a significant amount of pan here in the back you can see that I'm bringing this just so I can use it around my pore areas just to help with that section and then I'm bringing a little sample of a nice fancy primer I actually used today and this is from Guerlain this is the Lohr radiance concentrate with pure gold primer i got this as like a little sample with a sephora order and what better time to work through it than a week-long trip <laughs> i'm bringing two foundations along with me that i would consider dupes i'm still thoroughly testing them and i thought it would be awesome to test them in a different climate against each other so the first foundation i'm bringing is from shanta kai this is the future skin oil-free gel foundation in the shade alabaster 
very expensive, but one of my favorite foundations of all time. And the dupe I'm testing it against is from Wet n Wild. This is the Makeup Locker 3-in-1 BB Cream. And then I actually really like that the Wet n Wild one in the cap comes with a color corrector and a highlighter. So I'm going to be using this color corrector as well because I'm not sure how travel is going to agree with me. I tend to look really tired and dry after airplane travel. So I'm going to work with my skincare routine to kind of help counteract that, but I'm probably going to need that color corrector. So those are the two foundations that I'm bringing and nothing else. I am bringing two concealers with me, one regular under eye and face concealer, and then one that I'm using as an eye primer. So my regular concealer is the Kylie concealer, and this is in the shade Ivory my go-to concealer. I love it to death. I'm wearing it today with the Chantecaille foundation and I love it. It just, it works. And that's what I'm looking for on a trip when I'm probably going to have to cover up some under eye bags. I'm looking for bulletproof full coverage concealer. The concealer I'm going to be using on my eyes as an eye primer is from Tarte. This is the Shape Tape, of course, in the shade Light Medium Honey. I'm currently panning this in my 8 by Easter, so if you want to check that video out, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I thought this would be just really easy to bring along with me to use to prime my eyes every day. So I actually have one powder product in here just because it actually wouldn't fit in the other side of my bag, and that's my loose powder. I'm bringing the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10. I'm bringing this one. This one's brand new, but I'm bringing this one because it's the only powder that is bulletproof, works well for me, and has amazing packaging. The packaging in this is not really that messy. Like, for the most part, it stays within here. And when I'm staying in a hotel and when I'm traveling, I'm looking for something that's not going to get powder everywhere. <laughs> so that's honestly, like, the majority of the reason why I'm bringing this one, because I know it's a great powder and the packaging is just moi. I'm bringing two setting sprays with me. The first one is a mini of the MAC Fix Plus. I actually just went to a MAC store and picked up their little three set of the three of these. It came with the lavender, the coconut, and the rose. I'm bringing the rose because that is my absolute favorite scent of all time. For my actual setting spray, I'm bringing the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Photo Focus Setting Spray because, like I said, it's going to be a hotter climate. I may or may not need a mattifying spray especially when I'm in uh, like an amusement park all day. We'll see how that goes. Of course, I have my eyelash curler. This is an older one from Birchbox, back when I had Birchbox. For brows, I'm bringing my ABH Dip Brow in the shade Granite, just because I know how it works. I like the way that it looks. It's easy to put on, easy to apply. I know it's gonna work for me. And then for clear brow gel, I'm bringing the Pixie one that I'm currently working on finishing up. It's like half empty and it looks gross in the container. <laughs> so I'm trying to finish it up. I'm bringing two eyeliners with me. I'm not sure if I'm really going to use them, but I always like to have a black eyeliner on hand just in case. The first one is a mini of the Stila black liner. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner just in the shade black. And then I'm also bringing my Givenchy black liner just because it's been open for a bit and I'm trying to use it up before like it goes dry. Of course, I always have my NYX glitter glue because what the hell would I do without this thing? I'm bringing just a little bit of glitter. Just a little. So I'm bringing the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in the shade Pyro. So this is just a really light kind of duochrome shade. I figured I could use this as an inner corner highlight. And if I want to add a little bit of glitter to any look, it's easy to bring this along and use it. I think the last thing in this section of the bag are my two mascaras. I'm bringing my Chantecaille Faux Sils Mascara, the full size, and my mini of the NARS Climax Mascara. So let me go ahead and put all this back in the bag and then we'll move on to the next section. So before we move on to the powders, I actually almost forgot the lipsticks because like, Jesus, how do I always forget the lipsticks? I'm bringing five lipsticks with me. Most of them are more nudie lipsticks. Of course, this is more of a work trip. So that's what I'm sticking with. The first lipstick I'm bringing, I'm actually trying to finish this up. It's almost empty. This is a mini from Jeffree Star in the shade Mannequin. I'm bringing my closest nude shade from the Fenty Lip Stunna line. This is the Lip Stunna in the shade Unbutton. I'm bringing the shade that I'm wearing on my lips today. This is Wet n Wild's Rebel Rose because I can't live without Rebel Rose. <laughs> I'm also bringing a new recent favorite of mine. It's more deeper nude that I'll probably wear if we happen to go out to dinner a couple of nights, which I know we are. We're going out to a few nice restaurants. So this is from Too Faced. This is the Melted Matte in the shade Gingerbread Girl. It's a really nice, deep matte. I've been wearing it in a couple of videos recently. And I really love the shade. I'm not a huge fan of the scent, but the scent goes away after like 
the first 10 minutes you wear it. And the last lipstick I'm bringing, also from Fenty, yeah, I'm bringing the red lipstick. This is, of course, in the shade... Do I actually know what the shade's called? Uncensored. I forget what the actual shade is, because for the longest time, this was just the lip stunner, right? So I'm bringing this solely because I really would like to wear this when I go to Harry Potter World, because I know I'm not going to be wearing a lot of makeup. I'm probably going to be wearing big sunglasses, and I think this would look really cute with big sunglasses and my hair for, like, all the pictures I'm going to take. Yeah, I know. Silly reason to pack it, but I want to pack it just in case I want to do that. All right, so on to the powder products. The face powder that I'm bringing with me is from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. One of my go-to powders. I love it. This is lighter than my usual shade. I tend to use dim light more often, but I'm pale as hell because it's January. <laughs> So I'm trying to use this one up while I can. I'm bringing one of my favorite face palettes that I actually haven't been reaching for that often, and this is from Smashbox. This is the Ablaze face palette. I'm bringing this because it's nice and flat and sturdy, great for travel. There's a huge mirror right here, and these shades. This is a great bronzer shade. I'm wearing everything today. A great contour shade right here. I have some beautiful peach blushes. I love peach blush. And then some highlights. I'm bringing another highlight, but these highlights are really good. But I picked this one because it's got a blush that I'm really reaching for, and it has a, both a contour and a bronzer. Because I was looking at my other face palettes, and a lot of them aren't, they don't include contours, and I really wanted to contour on this trip. So this palette has everything that I was looking for and more, so I'm definitely bringing this one with me. Along with that Smashbox palette, I'm bringing a separate highlighter. This is the one that I'm currently panning from Becca. This is the Royal Glow highlighter. I just love this highlighter. Again, wearing it today. Uh, I can't get enough of this. And again, sturdy packaging will last a trip in baggage. An extra blush I'm bringing along. I don't really need to bring this one along, but I kind of want to because I'm panning it and I want to see how much use I can get out of it on this trip. This is my ABH Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I'll just throw it in the bag and see if I reach for it. So normally for a trip, I would pack one eyeshadow palette, but since this is a longer trip and I'm justifying my over packing, I'm packing three eyeshadow palettes this time. <laughs> so the first palette is one that I've traveled with for a long time, and this is the Lorac Pro Original Palette. This is just such a great travel friendly palette, and I always recommend that if you're traveling a lot and you want a go-to versatile palette to bring this one. It's super thin, super thir thirty, super sturdy, Jesus. It's got a nice big mirror in here, and then you have a range of shades. Not only do you have every neutral you will ever need, you've got some nice colors. I love the row of mattes and the row of shimmers. There's a matte black in here you can also use in your brows or as liner or even, you know, in your hair if you want to. And you only need, like, a dab of each of these shades to work. So this really is, like, the perfect traveling palette and I always bring it with me no matter where I'm traveling to. So this one is in the bag, of course. I thought about bringing my Pan That palette, my ABH subculture, but ABH palettes, eyeshadow palettes, are so fragile. I didn't want to bring that through my packed package. So I picked two sturdy palettes that have basically all the shades I could even ask for and they're both from Too Faced. I am bringing my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. A long time ago I talked about how I really wanted this palette but I'm pretty sure they've discontinued it and I couldn't find it anywhere after I really wanted to purchase it. I eventually found this at TJ Maxx for like $19 and I scooped it up scooped it up. So if you haven't seen this palette before, this is just the original tin packaging with a bunch of these beautiful, cool toned shades. I love that they're all shaped like little hearts. I, I love the packaging. These are so great for travel because you could, you know, throw this down the stairs and it would be fine. Like I'm bringing this one because I really like experimenting more with cool tone shades and these are mostly neutral with a couple of pops of like pink and blue. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. I love the shimmer shade I have which is the shade Cafe Au Lait, the one right there in the middle. I love this shade and then I have just like the pink shades on my lower lash line. Just a little pop of color but I love this palette. I want to experiment more with cool tones so I will be bringing this with me. I'm also bringing the Sweet Peach palette because the same thing, really sturdy packaging, really good palette, 
and it's got my favorite go-to quick two-minute eye look in here and it's the pumpkin spice tutorial that page from thrifty beauty did i love that look i get from that tutorial so i've been doing that like if i'm in a rush or if i'm just like on autopilot doing my makeup i'll do that look and still look amazing and get compliments no matter where I go. So I actually recently hit pan on the shade Luscious, which is a bit sad because I love that shade, but this palette gives me that go-to look, but also gives me some variety in case I do want to shake it up. I've got some purples, I've got some greens, I've got some peaches, I've got some browns. I've got pretty much everything that I'll need in this palette. And I think that is everything. That's everything makeup related that I'm bringing on my trip. I'm going to have a separate bag for like my skincare, toiletries, hair care, along with my brushes. I am not planning to do a travel video about those things just because I haven't packed them yet and I'm not 100% sure what I'm bringing yet. But if you guys are interested, I could film that after I get back as I'm unpacking everything. So let me know down below if you want to see a video on the brushes that I brought along with the skin and hair care that I brought. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up. And remember, if you're watching this the day it goes up, that I'm currently traveling and it'll take me a little bit longer to get back to comments than it normally takes me. I hope everyone has an awesome day and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.